guys, I am a local of Salt Lake City, Utah, and I'm a mom and a business owner, and I have three kids. Um, one of my kids is Wes, he's almost 18 now, and believe it or not, he is almost six feet tall and super strong and loves sports and works out. We didn't think this would be the case for him when he was seven years old, so let me tell you our story. Um, Wes was diagnosed with Perthes disease at seven. Perthes disease is very destructive to the femur and particularly the ball of his femur was almost completely destroyed and he, uh, in x-rays it showed that he had a hairline fracture going down uh, the length of the femur. We found this out completely by accident. I was choreographing a Christmas dance at his school and noticed that he would carry his leg kind of funny, like he would limp and then swing his leg around when he would turn. I took him straight to the doctor and uh, they diagnosed him with Perthes disease. Uh, as the doctors told us, it did proceed to get worse and worse and worse. I broke down and I cried because I could not picture my son be on crutches and then eventually in the cast. Coincidentally, during the same time, I continued to take Weston to his pediatrician because he would be so sick all the time, stomach sick. And the doctor would say every time we took him in, he would say, oh, he's fine, you know, kids, they just get sick. They get tummy aches, that's how it works. I took him in several times uh, over a year, like maybe three or four year period. Uh, at the same time that he was going to Shriners Hospital for Perthes disease, he had a, another major outbreak of sickness. Um, I took him in and it just said, I, it couldn't be that he's putting his hands in his mouth. As we were walking out the door, I remembered something and I said, oh, I forgot to tell you that Wes has developed sores inside his mouth. She looked inside his mouth. Oh, they had the, him tested for um, celiac disease. And sure enough, his uh, blood work came, came in and it was through the roof. It was off the charts high. So he has been suffering from celiac for years. Uh, within two weeks, he was off all wheat. My husband, who was taking uh, my kids to school at the time each morning, said, Wes one morning said, Dad, I think this is the first time in my entire life that I do not remember being sick in the morning. And that broke my heart to think that he's been sick for so long and there was a reason for it. And we finally found that out, that was great, but that's not the end. The better part to that is that within a month, his monthly x-rays that he was having taken for to see the progression of Perthes disease started coming back healthier and healthier. There was no more inflammation around his hip. And I know this word inflammation gets thrown around for days, right? We've all heard it. We're like, oh, it's inflammation again. Well, it was true. The pediatric doctor at Shriner said, when I told her what is different when she asked him, asked me and I said, well, we've gone completely off wheat because he has celiac. She was completely distraught that she has not suggested or asked questions about this possibility before. Four months later, his, his hip was completely fine. Inflammation was gone. We have not had to do one single thing since that day. And all that came from simply switching from wheat to a different grain. I I believe in doctors, I think they're fabulous. Our doctors have been great from point A to point Z. But I have to say that unless you take initiative and look into natural health and see what it could do for you, no one else is gonna solve the problem for you. You have to be your own best advocate.